Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Comitech and today in this video we have a Dell Wasto 3400 laptop with us and this laptop has come for an SSD upgrade and in this video we are going to add an SSD to this laptop for this we have already purchased an SSD and here you can see this is the uh, WD250GB of SSD and the interface is NVMe and the model is SN350 so we will add this SSD for this laptop to boost up the speed so let's open this laptop first So it is very easy to add the SSD to this laptop model. For this, you have to open all the screws present at the bottom base. And after opening all the screws, we need an opener tool and we will open this laptop cover. And the cover can be easily removed and here we can see this is the internal portion of this laptop and if you see here we have an SSD slot present on the motherboard so we can add the SSD to this slot and we don't uh, need to remove the hard drive we can use the SSD and the hard drive both to, together so to add the SSD we uh, need to remove the power source for the laptop so friends to add the physical drive to the motherboard first we have to disconnect the power source from the motherboard for this we will uh, remove the battery connector from the board and very carefully we have to disconnect the connector Now we need the physical drive and here we have the drive this is the manual and the warranty card and this is the physical drive so here we can see this is the physical drive we need and now we will remove the screw then we will place the drive it can be very easily placed and then we will screw it with the motherboard and here we have placed the SSD now we will connect the battery connector we have to put the battery connector back So here we have put the battery connector back, we have installed the physical drive and now we need an operating system for this blank drive. So first we will close the back cover and then we will install the operating system for this laptop. And it is your choice whether to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 for this laptop. This laptop can adapt to both windows. So first we will close the cover. And here we have closed the back cover also. Now we will install the windows for this laptop. For this we need an operating system bootable pen drive. And I have a Windows 10 bootable pen drive with me. So we will install the Windows 10 for this laptop. So now we will switch on this laptop and we will hit the F12 button which is the boot key for the Dell laptops. And please note that it will take a little bit more time to show the display because we have removed the battery 
which uh, has also cleared the CMOS setting for the motherboard. So please wait for the display and uh, keep hitting the F12 button. And here we have the display on the screen and uh, this is the boot menu. So now we will boot with the pen drive. And here we can see this is the boot menu for this laptop and we will select our bootable pen drive to boot from the pen drive and we will select the UEFI Sandes which is the bootable pen drive. We will select this and our uh, USB boot will start and then we have to follow all the installation steps for the operating system and our laptop will be ready. Here we have the next screen. We will click next. We will click install now. And here we will accept the license and click next. We will select the custom installation. And uh, here you can see the system is saying that we could not find any drive to get a storage driver. Click load driver. So what we have to do, we have to reboot the system. We will restart the system and uh, look into the BIOS for more settings. So for entering the BIOS, we have the F2 key on the keyboard. We have to hit the F2 key then the logo appears and uh, here we have the logo we are entering the BIOS and here we have the BIOS so here we have entered the BIOS mode and uh, we have to check the boot configuration the boot mode is UFI only we have the pen drive detection we have the hard drive detection and we don't have the detection for the NVMe so we will go to the storage configuration and uh, in the storage configuration here you can see the RAID on is selected so we will select the A HCI and uh, what it says is SATA NVMe operation status change warning changing this setting may prevent your operating system from booting or require a reinstall are you sure you yes we are sure because we don't need to boot from the hard drive anymore we need to install operating system for the NVMe so you will select the AHCI or NVMe and uh, apply changes and we'll click OK to confirm the settings and then we will reboot the system Click the exit button to reboot and now again we will hit the F12 button to enter the boot menu. And here we have entered the boot menu and again we will select the uh, operating system bootable pen drive and we will click the pen drive option and our system will again start booting from the pen drive. And now again we will hit the next button, we will click the install now button. Now we will accept the license terms, then click next. Now we will select the custom installation and at this time you can see we have the detection for the NVMe drive and the hard drive partitions also. And now we will select the SSD drive and we will make a new partition for this drive. And again we will select the SSD partition and click next. To install the windows and we have to wait the setup to be completed and our laptop will be ready so select your custom settings the region setting the language setting and the keyboard setting the passwords and the account name and uh, our system will be ready yeah. 
so friends here we have completed the windows installation for this laptop and the physical drive we have added so if we check the partitions here we can see that we have the ssd partition here and these two partitions which are locked by the bit locker are the partitions by the hard drive and this is the pen drive partition so to unlock these partitions we need a bit locker key which can be provided by the user or it can be retrieved from the user in microsoft account so friends this was the whole process how to add a physical ssd to upgrade this laptop and how to install a fresh operating system for this laptop so if you like this video please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching and thanks for being in this video with me thank you friends thank you